combustion. When a burning matchstick is brought near LPG gas stove with its knob turned on, it is observed that the gas coming out of the stove starts burning instantly to produce heat and light. Hence, LPG is a fuel. Similarly, there are fuels such as wood, coal, charcoal, petrol, kerosene, etc. that are used for various purposes at home, in industry and for running vehicles. These fuels burn to produce large amounts of heat. Thus, burning or combustion is a chemical process in which substances react with oxygen to produce heat. The substance that undergoes combustion is said to be combustible. It is also called a fuel. The fuel may be solid, liquid or gas. Methods used to control fire The most common fire extinguisher is water. But water works only when things like wood and paper are on fire. Water is also not suitable for fires involving oil and petrol, electrical fire. Carbon dioxide is the best extinguisher for fires involving electrical equipment and inflammable materials like petrol. Let us see a fire extinguisher cylinder. When the nozzle of the cylinder is pressed, the chemical reaction takes place and carbon dioxide gas is released. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen and covers the fire like a blanket. Since the contact between the fuel and oxygen is cut off, the fire is controlled. Types of Combustion There are three different types of combustion. Spontaneous Combustion Rapid Combustion and Explosion Spontaneous Combustion the combustion in which substances suddenly burst into flames without the application of any apparent cause is called spontaneous combustion. For example, sodium and phosphorus burn spontaneously in air even when no external heat is provided to them. Sodium is a very reactive metal. It reacts spontaneously with oxygen and water at room temperature to produce heat and light. Hence, it is stored in kerosene or in an inert atmosphere to cut off the contact between sodium and air. Rapid Combustion The combustion in which substances burn rapidly to produce heat and light is called rapid combustion. In rapid combustion, external heat must be supplied so that the substances can burn. For example, when a burning matchstick is brought near a gas stove with its knob turned on, LPG burns rapidly to produce heat and light. Explosion Combustion When a cracker is ignited, a sudden reaction takes place with the evolution of heat, light and sound. A large amount of gas formed in the reaction is liberated. Such a reaction is called explosion. Flame Different combustible materials show difference in color. For example, the color of flame in lamp is yellowish, color of flame in candle is yellowish, whereas flame of color in Bunsen burner is bluish. Each color in a flame represents a different zone of the flame. The different zone present in a candle flame are as follows. Innermost zone, middle zone or the luminous zone, Outer Zone or the Non-Luminous Zone Structure of a Flame Let us now discuss the properties of the three zones of a candle flame in detail. The outermost zone of the flame is the hottest part of the flame and the innermost zone is the least hot part. If we hold a part of a thin long copper wire inside the non-luminous zone of the flame for 30 seconds, then that part of the copper wire becomes red hot. Fuel and fuel efficiency Substances that are burned to produce heat are called fuels. These fuels are used for various purposes at home, in industries, 
and for running automobiles. However, not all fuels can be categorized as good fuels. Calorific value Calorific value of a fuel is the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel. The unit of calorific value of fuel is kilojoule per kilograms. Harmful effects Other harmful effects due to burning of fuels are as follows. When some fuels such as diesel, coal and petrol are burnt, they release sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen into the atmosphere. For example, Burning of coal and diesel produces sulfur dioxide, whereas burning of petrol produces oxides of nitrogen in the atmosphere. These oxides of sulfur and nitrogen dissolve in rainwater to produce sulfuric and nitric acid respectively. Rains containing these acids become highly acidic in nature and are known as acid rains. Acid rains can cause large-scale damage to plants, soil and buildings. Acid rain can corrode buildings made of marble and stone. It can contaminate water resources such as lakes and streams. This may even lead to the death of aquatic animals. Fuels such as wood, coal, charcoal etc. produce a lot of smoke in the atmosphere which contain unburnt carbon particles. These fine particles are dangerous pollutants that can cause many respiratory diseases such as asthma. Essential requirements for combustion Do you know that oxygen is essential for combustion? Let us study with the help of an activity. Take three burning candles on the table. Cover them with a glass chimney. Put a glass over the first candle in such a manner that it rests on the two wooden blocks. Place the glass over the second candle in such a manner that it simply rests on the table. Place the glass plate over the third candle. Now, what will you observe? You will observe that the candle burns freely in case A, when the air can enter the chimney from below. What happens in the second case? In case B, when air does not enter the chimney from below, the flame flickers and produces smoke. What happens in the third case? In case C, the flame finally goes off because the air is not available. So we conclude that oxygen is essential for burning. Ignition temperature. You must have heard that during extreme heat in summers, dry forests catch fire and very soon the fire spreads throughout the whole area.